Imagine if I told you this evening we're going to have a big dinner tonight and we're going to need some of you to volunteer to speak at this dinner. How would you feel? I want you to show me with your hands and your arms if I asked you to volunteer for it. When I say go, I want you to show me either you would say, hell yes, show me the spotlight. I love to speak in front of 500 people. Or would you, you do the international Yiddish expression, Ay vey, no, I don't think so, I'm not so sure. Or would you do the Macaulay Culkin, Home Alone? Fear, no. So ready, go. Show me how would you, you yeah. feel. Yes. All well, right. I got, yes. I've got a complete mixture. <laughs> well, I was one of those fear people. I was terrified to speak in public. It is really one of the biggest fears people have, getting up in front of an audience because you feel so vulnerable, you feel exposed. And everybody feels this way, it's not uncommon, except for you, you, you said hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I ended up taking a course called Own the Room a couple of years ago, and I said to the coach, what if I'm the only person you've ever trained who just couldn't get it? And he laughed and he said, <clears throat> tell it to the whole room. So I said, do you feel like you couldn't do it? And they all went, yeah, I don't think I could do it. I found my voice and I started to be able to speak, but I still couldn't get to the next level of feeling really, really confident. Why is it some people feel so confident and others still struggle to get to the next level? I started doing a lot of research. It's primal. You know, you stand in front of an audience. It's a very primal fear. But then I found, I started doing research and I found this book recently and it's called The Confidence Code. And what I discovered is that we, particularly women, we over-prepare, we feel like we're perfectionists, we have to be perfect, yes. we feel like we don't know, if we don't know enough, if we don't know 100%, we're not gonna be good enough, we ruminate, if we make a mistake, we ruminate over and over for the next month. Why did I do this? Why did I say that? And I bet a lot of men do that too. <laughs> well, I just wanna tell you one story. There are two people, Christine Lagarde, who's the head of the International Monetary Fund, and Angela Merkel, who's the Chancellor of Germany. When they have to go to a conference, they speak to each other because they're nervous too. And I think of them as the Hans and Franz from Saturday Night Live. Do you remember them? I want to pump you up. And it doesn't, they don't, it doesn't let them stop them. They do it anyway, they take action, and that's what confidence is. It's about taking action despite not feeling 100% confident. So I'm gonna ask you, what would you try if you weren't afraid? <laughs>